Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about Portra 400 and why I have to commit um, that this film stock is probably the best film stock you can buy in uh, 2022. First of all, I in the beginning of my film photography, I've never shot Portra 400 because it was just so expensive and I thought, well, maybe it's just a hype around this film stock. Um, so the first picture um, I want to show you is the one that I took here in summer um, on the lake of Thun, uh, shot on the Hasselblad, I guess. Um, yeah, shot on the Hasselblad 500 cm, um, and that was actually the second time I really shot Portra 400 um, in. 120. I've shot Portra 400 120 quite a lot in summer when I visited a source. Um, there will actually be a whole video about um, the a source and film photography on the outdoors. Uh, yeah. So the first picture we are looking at now is uh, this one from some old buildings. Um, yeah, I pretty like the composition here. Um, the colors are very nice, the light was going down quite fast and um, the golden hour was nearly finished, so uh, yeah. But I think the colors on this ones are really nice and also if we look in the frame it's very sharp. Again it's shot with a uh, Hasselblad 500cm, so it should be uh, sharp. But yeah, uh, all these pictures are actually um, developed by myself here with the Tatinal C41 kit. And then all these pictures are digitalized with my Lumix G9 and a macro lens on it. But yeah, the quality is shouldn't should be quite okay. But you know, sometimes if you do the whole process by yourself, things can happen and also the dust um, and the, the little fragments here that you can see on the frame on the, on the upper side of the frame uh, that's basically my fault um, and not the Portra 400's fault. So the next frame is this ananas picture here. Um, I took this picture also on the Azores um, with my Hasselblad 500cm and the 80mm lens. It was quite bright inside this greenhouse, so uh, yeah, I have had to shoot it quite uh, close, like after 11, I think. Um, but I think it turned out super nice. The colors are just amazing. It's super sharp, and also the depth of field is pretty small for like capturing with a with a quite close aperture, um, but. I don't know, maybe I shot it wider open and my uh, little booklet where I have my notes in is just uh, not right. But I think on this picture here the Porsche 400 can really shine because the colors are, are super nice and uh, yeah, these pictures, all the pictures you see here are not edited in any way so that you can see the, the true color. Um, and also the true sharpness and everything from the Portra 400. Uh, yeah, so I guess this picture is overall one of my favorite Portra 400 pictures, but there are a few more coming, so yeah. This picture here is very important for me because of the green tones to show you um, from Portra 400. It is overall quite warm, but yeah, we'll see other pictures where uh, it's not so warm colors. So yes, this picture here, um, also on the Azores, mostly of the, most of these pictures are um, shot on the Azores because afterwards and before I've not shot so many rolls of Portra 400. But yes, this one was actually on the middle of the day. Uh, the sun was shining straight from above. Um, and it was quite hard to, to get the uh, this boulder in frame because we were on a ship and there were quite some waves. 
Um, but overall, I pretty like the photo because of the blue colors in the ocean. Um, I've never thought about Portra 400 being so good for blue tones. But yeah, I absolutely love the blue tones just in front of this boulder. Um, also again, sharpness super nice. Uh, the highlights are not blown, blown out, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, because it was super bright. Then this picture um, is on the Isle of Pico, also on the Azores. Um, I pretty like the composition here with the old building, um, abandoned building obviously, on the left side of the frame and the Pico, uh, which is the volcano that gave this island its name, um, on the right side in the background. Uh, the colors here, amazing again, it was the middle of the day, sun shining straight from above, super bright. Um, had to close down the aperture again to like, I guess, f11. Then this picture here um, is just a few meters on the other side from this old abandoned building that we saw before. Um, I've shot this picture here because I was absolutely um, amazed by this painting here on the wall and I think it turned out pretty well. I should cut the frame probably a little bit but as I said I want to show you the unedited frames just like they are straight from the camera. Um, and the colors here again I think Portra 400 rendered the colors here amazingly. I've shot this picture and measured for the uh, shadows so that's basically why the, sh the, the highlights are blown out but I guess it's not that bad um, especially because the contrast was very very high so yeah I'm also very happy with this shot from Portra 400 here then the next one is this picture here from a resort on the uh, Sao Miguel um, the biggest island I guess it's the biggest island from the Azores um, I shot this picture just when it was supposed to be golden hour, but uh, on this day a storm hit the island and it was pretty foggy and it was raining, so I don't know why I shot this picture actually, but I think it turned out pretty nice with the empty pool. Um, maybe the, the two persons in the background shouldn't be going there. But overall, I pretty like the composition and again the colors from Portra 400. The greens, also the blues in the pool. If you look at the blue tone in the pool, I think that's amazing. It was just like I visualized it when I was there, and that was exactly what I wanted. So, good job, Portra 400. Then, this one, one of my all time favorite shots again. Uh, this little beach life there. The foreground with the uh, the green tones, the grass, then the beach with some people on it, um, this small sun protection there, and then back in the background um, the ocean, the waves, and also the clouds, which are pretty nice. And what should I say? The colors here are amazing again. The sharpness is excellent. Yeah, I have absolutely nothing to say with, uh, with this one, so yeah. Then we have this one. This one um, was actually the same beach as the picture before. And um, yeah, that was just after the sun went down. And it was quite dark already, but I thought maybe let's just give it a try and shoot some nice waves and here I think uh, Portra 400 can really show what it can do uh, with low light situations. The darks here in, the, in the, the, sh the shadows, just in the foreground, are excellent. They're just dark as they should be. Um, yeah, that's why I show you this photo because I think Portra 400 did a really great job here with uh, keeping up with the low light situation that I had. 
then again this picture here I don't know actually what is on the right side of the frame um, it is just I don't know should be something in the camera I've never had it afterwards but this picture here is in the selection because I think um, it is a good example for what can happen if the sky is too bright um, the sky here for me get a little bit too like brownish and I think that is pretty sad because the foreground with the small village is um, super nice and the colors here are also amazing the sharpness is super and also the blue tones from the ocean I think they are really good so yeah I was a little sad that this brownish tone in the in the upper frame in the sky um, happened because I don't like this so much but I think it's important to say that not every picture with Portra 400 is just super nice then we have this picture here uh, this picture was in December actually in Ascona on the Lago Maggiore uh, yeah after the pictures on the Portra 400 that I shot on the Azores, I was so amazed um, how good this film actually is that I took one roll with me uh, when I went a weekend to Ascona and yeah I shot this picture here from this uh, ginormous house um, private villa I guess and it was again not the middle of the day but like in the early afternoon and the colors are just amazing. The blue tones of the sky, super nice. Then the warmth in this picture is actually something I really like. I really like. Sorry. Um, yeah, and also the, the palm tree here in the foreground are just super sharp. And then the last picture for today is this picture from the I say skyline from Ascona. I think the best picture that I took on Portra 400 yet. Um, I really dug the composition, the small red boat in the foreground and the skyline um, in the middle and then in the background the snowy mountain. The colors are amazing, the houses perfectly be shining from the sun in the late afternoon. Perfect sharpness, yeah. That picture actually made me buy another few rolls of Portra 400 for my upcoming um, road trips and adventures because if there's any chance that another picture could look like this one I'll take it I guess so yeah that was it for today I think this film even though it is pretty expensive um, the film is worth it and I will definitely continue to shoot Portra 400 in situations where I think um, not only the colors but yeah everything is just perfect and I want to have a shot that is exactly what I am thinking in my head um, and what I visualize so what's your opinion is there any better film than Portra 400 let me know in the comments and what film should I show you next? Till then, I wish you and see you next time!